I died a few years ago. And it wasn't a near death experience. It was it was a series of deaths. And um a major one. And surprisingly, right after the major death, where I thought I was done, um, I was immediately born again. So, in the spirit. And that's happened in my life before, but this was the culmination of many lives and many lifetimes. And I just was like, okay, <laughs> you know, and it's... It wasn't just okay. I'm laughing. It was. It was very difficult. Anybody who knows how difficult it is to release things. Imagine releasing the world, re releasing family, releasing friends, releasing dreams, releasing releasing life. When when there's a passion for life and a joy in being made and created and being able to learn and grow, but imagine it being finished. <laughs> so there's part celebration and part um, it's pain, the pain of separation, and it can be equated with being born as a human, you know, um, I think babies are brave, and I don't think it's necessarily physically painful, I'm not sure, to separate, I, I doubt it, but you know, when the baby comes out there and the cord has to get cut, um, and they're not together in the way that they were now they're outside of each other and they have to kind of determine their closeness right um so yeah there's that that feeling of being born again recently and so i think that's why i'm thinking about that And I was thinking about my life now and the integration that I've had to do. Because obviously, well not obviously, um, being born again right away in the spirit, in the flesh, um, and having the body changes and then looking at the world and like, what in the world? Because there's still the, the, the memory of the past life is hard to describe or that life and then there's this new life that has access or that it's not even access that has remembered or that has uh, soul retrieval or integrated into this being so it's it was it was really I'm like using words it can't be described I'm like it was really interesting no it was it was it was beautiful and challenging and over the past four years, that's what the paintings have been about, being able to heal, being able to express, and being able to um, show visibly how beautiful I've always thought we are. Um, the collective, all beings, you know, of creation. I have been focused on Earth, though, <laughs> so I'll, I'll speak in that, in that, in that sense. Um, but being opened up to um, more worlds and more travels, it's just in the, it's in, it's in the paintings and they're, I call them the ascension pieces. And there's been a um, homeless journey that I've been on and I think it's because in spirit I hadn't been able to settle. I didn't know where I wanted to go or where I wanted to be. Um, and why did I choose this place in the first place and even though like I'm earth has changed <laughs> so it's a new earth you know and in my spirit it feels like a new Eden a new paradise and God's kingdom God's realm um, and I have to the way that I'm living right now there's this recovery because I've been in really abusive situations the last last year uh, you know definitely from basically spring to spring, yeah, April 2022 to about May 2023, it was just really difficult, the situation that I was in, and I, I'm grateful for it, you know, completely, um, but sometimes when you leave something, you're like, oh my gosh, that was really worse than I thought, so even 
where I'm at now, you know, I'm at the shelter. It's been 168 days. It's either 168 or 169. Um, and I'm healthier. And I'm now able to function. I started painting again. I started painting again in July, but I started painting at the shelter on Monday. And the work is... <laughs> It's um, it's interesting to me. It's not quite. I feel like in a month I'll feel more refined. I like it. I like oh something. Uh, you know, some things are really beautiful. I'm laughing because it's um. There's just been a lot of pouring out. There's been a uh, a, a lot of emotions um, expressed, and so that laugh is a relief. It feels good to have gotten some of this anger and this confusion and this doubt and this um oh, I was gonna say anger again so it's that much anger to be able to be expressed the last it was Monday and Tuesday that I um uh, painted and painting at the shelter was a big deal because there's just been a lot of not goodness it didn't feel good there like I and I want I love it so much I was tired of painting and having to deal with people's negativity or jealousy or uh just um i just regular regular th i just wanted i just literally want a simple life a home maybe a kitty a, a, a puppy you know of course like of course the puppy was going to be a dog so i really want a dog um backyard um place to paint i would i can't wait to have a place to be able to clean up so i can do oil painting i dream about it um, so just yeah, really simple, be able to take the dog to the dog park and, you know, cuddle on the couch and, you know, meet somebody. Of course, I want to be in love and be uh, married. Well, not of course, I'm saying um, I want to be, I want to, yeah. And so anyways, I'm making this because I was thinking about sometimes people judge um, homeless people or people with mental health issues. And sometimes it's like, you know, we know what we need to do to get better. And sometimes you need to, for me, start over um, because I wasn't being seen for who I was for, for too long, for too long. And because I've changed so much, it was just like, eh, the love had to be heart to heart. And at that point, it needed to be communicated in a, and communicated, ver verbal or written. It needed to be known how much I was valued, how much I was loved. I know how much people love me, right? I, I do, I could feel it, but it was it was something that I had to keep reaching for, something that felt far away and I need a love that's close up. You know, I'm a Taurus, you know? And so I'm a Taurus 12th house. <laughs> so um, it's been a very um, isolating journey, but it's been very beautiful and um, so many hidden things and so many things to come that are hidden and so many things that I've learned and the majority of the stuff I learned is from people because I, I the peop I feel people are you know the culmination of their ancestors and that means their universes so I, I'm very careful <laughs> with the people that I meet um, and the people that I engage with um, and I'm I'm being here, I'm realizing how many of my prayers have been answered, how many things have manifest. I needed to be by the water. The shelter is just very near the water. It's very near a bike trail. I needed to be with nature. I needed to have the option to leave my things for the day somewhere and um, hopefully they be safe, you know, not so like, and then to be cared for even at the beginning, the caring was just being left alone, you know, being able to just be and gradually get to know people. So I've learned a lot in these these few months. I've learned solidly that I can be anywhere, anywhere, anywhere and be myself. But now I can also speak up, you know, I can be like, you know, wherever I am, I am. And then I've been able to meet people of God. Um, that are different than the people of God that I knew before, especially with my family. I, it just wasn't expressed the same way. Um, and there's just, and maybe it's because it's post 2020 and maybe it's because we, I feel like it's a new earth and a new realm. I'm not saying that um, there's still, it's been disappointing in some of the attitudes that I still witness, but I pray for, 
to be around people with my same heart resonance and I prayed to be able to be myself wherever I wherever I was that's all I wanted <laughs> that's all I wanted was to be able to bring all my knowledge all my experiences and ground them into the earth and what happened was after that when I was born again in spirit I uploaded everything from the earth and it became a conscious channel so a pure channel and I would always say when I was younger a channel works both ways you know if, if it's working but now it's more like it's just this constant communication and it's this I've had between 2021 and 2023 I was in the midst of life reviews and um, it wasn't as con I can remember more now it wasn't as conscious um, but I was getting intuitions about people and intuitions about things that have been said behind my back ancestors yeah I don't know how to describe it my mom passed in um, August 2020 and after that everything felt lighter and I feel like I got a lot of my spiritual gifts back and a lot of my creative talents back and just more confidence and more um, and then right at the end of 2021 to about April May of 2023 I didn't have anybody um, I no hugs or no touching so I got my the first I think the last um, hug I got was like yeah November of 2021 and then I got a fist bump from a guy at Walmart um, in April, late April of 2022, and that's the first person that touched me. That's the first person besides myself, and I do massage every day. I do um, uh, Ayurvedic uh, technique. It's called Abhyanga, and I've been doing that since my early 20s, so I touched myself, um, and I had to learn that because I lived alone in my early 20s, and um, I was missing physical touch, and so I didn't know how long it was going to I would have been married for eight years and we were separated and then divorced and I didn't know how long it was going to be before I um, was with someone else because divorce is heartbreaking when you think it's going to be forever <laughs> you think you're going to be married forever and then you know I have this you know this, you know being you know best friends and um you know, being old on the porch, you know, like these visions and, you know, we had kids names and stuff like that and just didn't work out. So I just was, and then I ended up being celibate for, um, well, I was with someone and then I ended up being celibate for about seven years and I was practicing agape love and it wasn't abstinence and it wasn't just can't get laid, it was celibacy because I wanted to see how, what people really wanted you know there was a lot of I'm very sexual but I, I I wasn't with a lot of people because I can't be um uh, and so I wanted to see what people really wanted that the connection that intimacy and it's not you know it's not always about sex it's like sex becomes a tool to get it and the and the, the people that I met right this is obviously subjective I'm talking from my perspective but in those seven years of practicing agape love and being more with God and learning um, learning how to walk the spiritual path not only in private you know in my house or in my room or when I'm meditating but out in the world to be able to carry the practice out into the practical world um, and not talk about it <laughs> you know just like live it right so that's what I've done in the last 20 years, and I was conscious. Um, I've also, you know, done the loving kindness um, Buddha prayer, which I will share. I made a recording, um, that a one that I really like, and hopefully I'll share that soon. Um, but I've been doing that since my early 20s. These are sincere things, and I, I, I now I feel. When I was saying that I had the life reviews in 2021 and 2023, I called for karmic justice for my birthday in May 2020. So karmic justice from this life or that life at the time, um, 517, uh, 517, 78 to 
um, May 2020. So I had called it. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm calling it. I'm cashing in my chips. So it was from this lifetime and all my previous lifetimes, from all my incarnations, period. I wanted justice in my relationships because a lot of things I felt were getting repeated and I was in a loop and I was. Some people call it a matrix. Um, I, I have ideas about that, but there's been so many ideas about that from my own perspective. Um, there's many perspectives and that's, what's, that's what helped me get out of the loop because I could jump around to my different thoughts and my different ideas and um, different scenarios. And I learned that by dealing and learning with people all my life that everybody's different. You know, people want different things that communicate in different ways. We're so individual. That is the beauty. And so, definitely the last few years, I think, between 2016 and 2019, I was dealing with people mostly one-on-one. -on -one. I tried to have my relationships based on that because I was super sensitive and super open. And like I said, people are universes. And so I try, what I did was listen, share, and encourage. Because <laughs> that's, that's, you know, share love. And, and then some people could receive it and some people couldn't. Um, um, thought I was insincere or naive or too good to be true or um, uh, manipulative. Um, but the manipulative word is really interesting because I feel like that's creative and we all are, but I feel like maybe people mean it in a more negative way, but I, manipulative to me means, um, uh, it's part of creation and it's part of, um, results of, uh, you know, having an action plan and, um, but not to manipulate people, but to manipulate, uh, time definitely, um, shifts and energy, um, so yeah, yeah, so that's, uh, the painting show, you know, thank God for colors, you know, it, it has so much, so many more things that I can't express, but nature can, right, I'm just thinking about the, I'm just thinking about being here and being in nature and having the, the means to utilize the technology that we have made along with the technology, you know, the earth technology, you know, with this water uh, and these trees being rooted all over the planet, you know, it's, it's super cool. It's super cool to use both, both technologies. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm off on a tangent, obviously. Um, but I really picked this up to say that the privilege of being able to be here. This is a yoga mat somebody at another shelter gave me because they saw me doing bad yoga. I still do bad yoga here, but I started bringing out the mat this week. So I started painting again. I started bringing out the mat. So life is just different but to have this I know is a privilege and I've worked for it you know and I prayed for it um, and all prayers are answered and so that's the, that's the thing I had visions for my life and wishes for my life and to truly have faith and that's what I'm doing is releasing doubt more doubt you know I have to trust those visions and act accordingly and when acting accordingly to what I see as a beautiful future it means to rest now it means to enjoy now I, I everything I do I feel like I do it for my kids I uh, to, to be a parent one day like it's this is generational that's what I was doing in those first 40 years I'm 45 now working with seven generations I was always thinking ahead and when I feel like I died and passed on and was reborn I realized that I wasn't just working with seven generations ahead they were they were generations back because it was through love and not only are you know people reincarnated or in different 
places in the universe are in universes. You know, sometimes, um, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, but even if it was only a few who bounced around like that, the love was, is the thread. So I was gonna say, was the thread, is the thread, will always be the thread. Love won, love wins, you know. So I just, I, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm true to what I know. God loves me, everything's cool. I did a good job. Um, and just trust that everything, that I'm where I need to be. And that when things are difficult, it's, it's just a part of being human. It's just a part of being here now. That's another privilege that I, the gift that I got is to be present, to not have to base my life, my life decisions on the past that they can come up the emotions can come up and I can acknowledge them and make a choice in the moment. That's one of the reasons why the forgiveness thing is a an interesting thing because I don't hold people's past against them because I don't I never wanted that from that's what I've dealt with my whole life. I don't I don't I would just want to be me and free. So liberty and justice, right? Liberty and justice for all, right? And so there's this feeling of wanting to share and feeling like answering or justifying some of the energy I feel like I've internalized from people who think that homeless people or people with mental health should be doing, you should be doing this, you should have this, you should do this, instead of being like, get well, get better. Um, I hope that things work out or just, you know, nothing, right? Nothing. So nature heals, time heals, art heals, communication heals, sharing heals. Um, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son, his only begotten son. Whoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And then Jesus was like, yeah, well, the only way through me, or the only way to the Father is through me. I was like, all right. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, it's just really cool. Praying and praying and praying and praying. Oh, what, what should I do? Why am I here? You know? And then getting that answer in my early 20s. Um, to walk the earth spreading love and light and that I was on the path with Yeshua and I had never heard that term Yeshua I had only heard Jesus um, and so that's how I knew that I was on my path because it came from an inner the inner knowing comes before it's acknowledged or externalized that's how my life has been so that makes me trust more so i just want to trust when things are going challenging because things have been challenging i've been sad not knowing what to do and then just honoring having to look around and honoring what i do the people that i'm around the places that i go um we're connected we're connected it's an always thing you know so in Doge. Love you, Nysus.